Welcome, stranger, into my home. What brings you here today? You're looking for a magical potion? Hmm, tell me, do you want to be beautiful, strong, or immortal? Ah, all three of them. Well, come into my kitchen and let's start brewing some potions. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be working on free smoothie potions and we're going to see how they're going to make us super duper healthy. Just a reminder, if you like this type of video, go press on that subscribe button. So let's get to our potions. The first smoothie we're going to be making is the Immortality Potion. So this smoothie is filled with foods that are rich in antioxidants and they help you have a long and healthy life. <laughs> Admit it, you secretly want to be a vampire. We're gonna be working on the immortality potion. So we're gonna start with some beets. So you can or use a half of one or if you have a small one, then you can use all of it. And beets are great because they're rich in vitamin C, which is an antioxidant and are also full of fiber. And then here we have some raspberries. You can or get some frozen ones, or if you're lucky enough, like I got to take some from the garden, so I have some fresh ones here. And raspberries are really great because they have several types of antioxidants, uh, which they also have vitamin C in it. And they may lower risk of diabetes and cancer. And then here we have some cinnamon, and this helps to lower your blood sugar. And what these free foods here have in common besides being rich in antioxidants is that they are anti-inflammatory and they reduce your risk of having heart disease. So if you want to live forever, these free foods, they're a pretty good option. Here we have some avocado. What's really interesting about this food is that not only itself is rich in antioxidants, but it also has something in it that permits to absorb better the antioxidants that you're eating. So it's going to be boosting all these other foods as well. So here we also have some banana to add a little bit of sweetness to your smoothie and some spinach leaves. I used about a cup. So uh, just to add all those extra vitamins and you know how I feel about those leafy greens. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. <laughs> So here we have our immortality potion that looks quite bloody actually. Our second smoothie is the youth potion. So this one has lots of foods that are going to permit to repair the skin and make it look beautiful. So here we have the ingredients to make our youth potion. And here we have one cup of frozen blueberries, but if you have fresh ones, that's perfect as well. And blueberries are amazing because they're rich in fiber and certain nutrients and antioxidants that permit skin to really repair itself. And the blueberries, they lower the risk of skin issues such as acne, premature aging, and eczema. So here we have powdered collagen. If you're a vegetarian, you can use spirulina powder instead. And there's about two tablespoons of it in here. And it's great because it helps you to have better skin because it strengthens it, it gives it more elasticity and hydration. And the problem is, is that the more you age, the less you produce collagen naturally. So by consuming it, you're helping your skin fight against wrinkles and skin damage. So what's really good that we have here, it's bok choy. And why is it so important? It's because it's rich in vitamin C and your collagen, it needs vitamin C to be able to function well. So it's gonna make this even more powerful. Uh, and in here we have about one cup of bok choy. Then we have one avocado and some banana to add some creaminess and uh, sweetness to your smoothie and also some coconut water. <laughs> And here we have the youth potion. Look at its deep purple, beautiful color. So the third and last smoothie we're making is the invincibility potion. So this one is gonna help really boost your immune system. So here is the ingredients for the invincibility potion. So here we have some matcha tea powder. Uh, you can put one to two teaspoons of it. Yeah, I know you can't see it, but it's in there, okay? 
So matcha tea will help boost your immune system, lower inflammation, and fight off bacteria and virus infections. Here we have kiwis. So I put two of them in here. Just so you know, kiwis are so rich in vitamin C that with just one cup of these, you get approximately 273% of your daily recommendation. So that's pretty awesome. And as you probably know already, vitamin C helps you fight against the flu and it also boosts your immune system. So here we have some ginger. Here I have some fresh one, so you can or cut like one inch or two centimeters uh, of this, or you can use like one teaspoon of powdered ginger, or probably a little bit less depending on your taste. I like, uh, I like it pretty strong, maybe more like half a teaspoon. And so ginger, besides of course helping you fight the common cold and the flu, it's really great for when you have nausea, menstrual pain, and it's anti-inflammatory. So this is really good too. So here we have one cup of kale, remember those leafy greens, and then one banana and some unsweetened almond milk. <laughs> Here we have our invincibility potion. Look at its beautiful green color. Though it kind of looks like troll buggies, you know? So you see, with just a few ingredients, you can make magic anytime. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, Press on the thumbs up, leave a comment, and press on that subscribe button. Thank you and have a magical day. Bye. <laughs>